recording from the new forest. Oh, hello. <laughs> We're surrounded by horses. <laughs> yeah. This is one of the beautiful things about the new forest is there's free roaming horses here. They literally, we literally just stood here to try to film an intro for you and they just came up to us and they all want to be stroked. <laughs> So, this is one of the magical things about the New Forest, is there's free roaming animals, including pigs and cows and horses, and it's just so beautiful. We got here yesterday, we stayed in this amazing campsite, and we got to go on a walk, and it was just unbelievable. But it's time to go, we have to go keep exploring. Yeah, Bye. we hopefully get to show you some more of the natural beauty of the New Forest, but I mean, <laughs> you cannot beat this, this is just unbelievable. Well, I wish we didn't have to go, but I think we do. Sorry. Hello. Oh, they're so tame. What the heck? Hi. I love horses. Are you jealous? They're getting jealous of each other. I know. Other. What the heck? This is literally where we stayed last I know. Time. Bye, ponies. Bye, horses. Oh, they're coming. They're coming with us. You want to get in the van? Maybe they could fit inside. You want to come in? Oh my gosh, this is even better. Okay, bye. Let's head off. Oh, I'm gonna miss those horses. Bye. So last summer when we were driving through Europe, for some reason we just didn't stay in campsites and we stayed in one last night and it was such a game changer. Not only feeling safe, like you know one was gonna wake you up knocking on the van, but also obviously showers this morning, we got to wash our dishes, there's even a laundry area, we don't have enough laundry yet, but just all of those little things make such a big difference. And even if we do still do like free camping on this trip, I think if every few days we stay in a campsite and clean up and just, I don't know. It's just like such a good reset. To stay for the night was about 25 pounds for both of us and the van. And we're part of the caravanning and camping club, or camping and caravanning club, I forget. But anyway, that gave us a slight discount. But they were so helpful and nice. The people that work here were giving us advice and things to do and super friendly. Highly recommend this campsite. This is the Ashurst campsite. Mm -hmm. We'll link it down below. Yeah. <laughs> Mind the horse poo. Yeah. We've just parked up in a beautiful little town called Burley, and as we drove in, we saw some more horses, including a baby horse, which we're going to go meet now. Hello. This is such a cute baby horse. How is that horse so tiny? Oh, it's smiling. I feel like it's a big dog. <laughs> it's just basking in the sun. I think that's why it's just standing here so peacefully. Mm. Bye. So Burley is very well known for witches because a very famous witch lived here in the 1950s. Her name was Sybil Leek and she was a white witch so she practiced healing with herbs and she used the sun and the moon as her guides. But when it came out that she was a witch, her life and her house were threatened here. So she ended up moving to America. But she is one of Britain's most famous witches and before she left, she set up a coven here in the New Forest which is apparently still in existence today. And in her honor, there are a few little witchcraft shops here in the town center. I kind of want to get all this stuff. <laughs> this is so cool. things 
firstly a magnet from Burley because you know we've been collecting magnets even though we forget sometimes and then this book looked really cool Waking the Witch Reflections on Women, Magic and Power so I'm excited to read it We are heading into the Queen's Head for lunch this is one of the local pubs so whilst we were waiting for our food we've got a very interesting bit of history about this pub we're in basically it used to be a central spot in the New Forest for smugglers and they'd smuggle in contraband and during renovations under the floorboards in part of the pub they found pistols, coins and old contraband that had been smuggled and stored in the pub and I think that is awesome. I love finding places with like really interesting history. Super cool. I was just told this is one of the walls where some of the treasure was found. The smuggler's treasure. Okay, lunch has arrived. I've got a salad and like a courgette or zucchini fritter starter thing. And Louie got a mushroom and ale pie, which is very, like, I guess ale pies are very British, mm, right? Mm. Yeah, so this is a vegan version of a very quintessentially British meal. Do you have to cope? Open first? Nah, just pour over. taste test on this mushroom and ale pie. Something I've been so impressed with in the UK is just the vegan options. Even in pubs in small little villages, there's always some really decent vegan options, not just a salad. It's like a full-on vegan mushroom and ale pie that is unbelievable. So let's give us a little taste. Wow, that's amazing. Bursting with flavor. And uh, crispy um, pastry, spot on. I love it. Main course was delicious. I also got some dessert. This is a vegan mocha tort with some coconut ice cream. Wow. I can barely taste the mocha. It's just like an insane chocolate <laughs> torte. <laughs> There's so many cute little gift shops everywhere. Of course, everything's magic, witchy themed. And yes, a lot of it is touristy, but you can find little treasures amongst the touristy stuff. <laughs> Next up today, we've decided to go on a bike ride. So we've stopped at this bike rental store in the middle of Burley. And yeah, we're just picking out our bikes now. And I'm going to change, obviously. Yeah. <laughs> Need to go back to the van and change. The bike rental store closes in two hours, so we've chosen one of the routes that we can do in time. And it was £35 for two bikes for two hours. You ready? Yeah, let's go. Let's do it. Okay. In an ideal world, we wouldn't be having to rent bikes. We would have just bought our own bikes. So I'd highly recommend when traveling and doing van life, at least having some kind of fold-up bike or something. You loving it, Raya? Yes, I love bike riding and I wish we did it more. <laughs> but I'm glad we're doing it now. Yeah, we've already talked and we're gonna get into bike riding properly. Once we have a bit more stability and a routine, we'll get some nice bikes and go out multiple times a week. at the bike rental place said that this full route takes most people two hours. We actually skipped the beginning of the route because he said this is the most beautiful part, mainly because we know we're going to be stopping and filming beautiful views and whenever we go on tours when we're traveling it always takes us way longer because you know we want to capture it for you guys and share it. Yeah I feel so bad when we're on group tours because we always hold the group up but Thankfully, it's just us two. However, we do need to return these by five, so that's why we need to try to stay on track as much as we can. Okay, we got this. Yeah. We've just pulled over for this incredible view of, do we know what flowers those are? These are everywhere in the New Forest, these amazing purple fields. Stunning, isn't it? The New Forest is the only place on our itinerary that I have been to before. And this is what I always think about when I think about the New Forest is fields of purple wildflowers and free roaming 
um, horses and it's definitely what you see everywhere. <laughs> it's just so breathtakingly beautiful. So this whole track that we've been on is a old railway track and we've just seen the first signs of the railway which are these kind of metal tracks. This has got to be one of the most beautiful cycle routes I've ever been on and we're still kind of early on in the beginning but we are about to turn left onto this road and I'm just blown away. Doesn't this just look like it's out of a fairy tale? Like you're just gonna get lost up surrounded by these fields of purple. We just cycled up a little hill. Oh, but we're greeted by this amazing view. As we were cycling past, I just spotted a blackberry bush, so. I'm gonna try some of these. Mm. You ready? That one was quite sour. Mmm, that was really good. Well, you want one? Yeah, I want it. Mm. <laughs> I can't wait to take our kids blackberry picking and foraging yeah. for berries and stuff. this water is. This is a, an incredibly leisurely cycle. <laughs> I don't feel rushed. No, it's perfect. We're gonna sit down for a bit and enjoy the stream, have water, just bask in the sunshine. And look at all the beautiful dragonflies. been sitting here for like five ten minutes and honestly I feel like we could just sit here all day <laughs> and I was just talking about how there is also a legend from who knows how long ago that a dragon lived here um, so with witches and dragons and fairies and all these magical things it's just no surprise that there's legends and stories of all of these things in this area because it really feels like a magical fairy tale. It's so beautiful and I have a feeling a lot of this UK road trip is gonna feel like this because I mean there's like castles and just incredible ancient beautiful magical places to explore and I'm so happy that we chose to focus on the UK this summer because I feel like last summer we just like rushed through so many countries because we tried to like hit as many countries as we could and make it all the way to Bulgaria and obviously that was great but to get to explore a bunch of different parts of one country feels really good and it still feels like we're traveling really fast and definitely not staying anywhere long enough but I feel like these are all like little previews of all these epic places and obviously we'll be back in the UK every summer so we'll be able to go back to all these places and maybe stay for like weeks at a time especially when we have kids then I think we're gonna want to travel a bit slower anyway but I think the New Forest is 100% a place that we're gonna come back to. What do you think? Oh my God, <laughs> it's so good. And although we could spend longer here, this definitely is a slower pace. I think we're, mm -hmm. we're slowly succeeding in slowing down our travels. <laughs> so they're gonna be less dramatic and rushed. And mm -hmm. um, I think this is something we've longed for for years, is just to be able to just Sit by a beautiful river and just bask in the sun and it feels so good. <laughs> Look 
at this adorable Shetland pony. You're loving these little cottages. I mean, first of all, all of these houses have names. This one is Colette's Cottage. And they all have so many wildflowers outside and they're like these beautiful old houses. This might be the most wholesome place you've ever been. It's amazing. Right, back in the van. Okay, we are leaving Burley now, and we are heading to Highcliff Castle, which is on the coast. Another thing I love about the New Forest, and the UK in general, is just how close everything is. Especially after road tripping around the US and Central America. So, the drive to Highcliff Castle on the beach is 15 minutes. Hogwarts? Yeah. What the heck? We have arrived at Highcliff Castle. The castle itself is closed, but we were told this morning, no, yesterday morning, by a local that we should come check out this place and there's some steps you can walk down to a private little beach. Oh my gosh. I didn't even know there were beaches in the New Forest. And this is, wow, it's a sand beach. Sand beach, check this out. <laughs> wow. What the heck? Isn't it beautiful? Oh my gosh, look at the white cliffs. Wow. If you just dropped me off here and asked me where in the world I was, I would never guess England. Look, the glimmering water. Oh my gosh. Heck. Yeah, this could be like Greece or France. France. Or, yeah, so many places. Resist the sea, I'm going in. Oh, should I take off my wedding ring? Yeah, maybe. It's a little bit loose. Okay. The sea is warmer than I've ever felt it in the UK. That is way warmer than Brighton. It might be because we're in like a cove here but that was like, perfect. I'm sorry that you didn't bring your swimming stuff. <laughs> you didn't tell me we were going to a beautiful beach, but it's amazing either way. We'll get other opportunities. We're basically traveling up the coast the whole way, so. But it's only gonna get colder. Yeah, no, no, end of the week's hotter. Okay. <laughs> That was unbelievable. We're walking back to the van now in my underpants because I didn't bring swimming shorts down. We're gonna go and find a spot to park up the van, watch the sunset and make some dinner. We've traveled another 20 minutes to a beautiful little town called Barton-on-Sea and we've found this spot to have dinner. Check this out, right? So we parked right on the edge of this little car park and then right here is an epic little cliffside walk with a view of the ocean oh my gosh and then the sun is dipping and we might set up a little table outside and just enjoy the view 
and have a delicious meal. What are, we cook what are you cooking tonight? Just some stir fry, put some tofu in there, gonna cook up some rice noodles and have some teriyaki sauce to put in. Nice. <laughs> Our fold up table. Lovely. Lovely, lovely. Thank you. Yeah, what a lovely day. I know. How epic is this spot I can I go here? Should we say a couple of things we're grateful for? I'm grateful for just how beautiful nature has been today and the wildlife mm -hmm. and just seeing such an incredible part of the British countryside. I'm grateful for the rising moon over those white cliffs over there. That is insane. Whoa. And just for the range of beautiful places we've seen today. The fact that they're like 15 minutes away from each other and they're all different and magical in their own ways. This tastes so healthy. Mm -hmm. Right, the sun is setting. I've just put the kettle on. I'm gonna make Raya a chamomile tea and I'm gonna make a peppermint tea. We're just sitting here finishing up our tea, taking in the sunset, and I wanted to expand a little bit. Um, I know that we went to like the witches little shops earlier and I talked about the history a little bit, but I wanted to go into it and I ideally would like do a bunch of research to give you guys facts and maybe I can do a whole separate video on this because I'm really passionate about it. Basically, the word witch is often associated with like darkness and scary and you now it's like evil witch is usually the association and um, for Louis growing up Christian that was like a specific thing that it was a very negative yeah I definitely reckon I've grown up with a very negative kind of misconception of witches and mm. kind of thrown it all into that kind of occult evil kind of mm, dark va vampires and witches and ghouls and <laughs> yeah. zombies you know so, a lot of you may not know that the word witch is just the female word for wizard. And the word wizard is associated with like wisdom. It's like this old guy with a long white beard and he knows all this incredible magic and can save the world. But witch is like this evil like lady that's just like eating children and like yeah. has moles coming out of her face. And, and to be fair, like Disney and stuff with like the wicked yeah. witch who poisoned Snow White and stuff. A lot of witches in mm -hmm. in movies and cartoons and whatever have been. But negative. that's because when you go all the way back to like the witch trials and stuff, that was basically men being afraid of 
outspoken, educated, independent women. Who were healers. Yeah, so witchcraft, a lot of the women that were burned for witchcraft, it was, they were literally like using herbs as medicine, which by the way, humans have been using throughout all of history. And a lot of them were, were more outspoken, like if women gathered together, they were seen as really dangerous. So basically any women that weren't like submissive, quiet women that didn't know how to read, <laughs> were in trouble of being accused of witchcraft. And oh, I, I just, yeah, there's just a whole thing to go into, but I guess if you feel that you also have negative connotations of the word witch, I'd highly recommend looking into it a little bit more because literally in Harry Potter, Hermione is a witch and Harry and Ron are wizards. Like it's just the female word for like a magical person. Um, and the fact that we associate the women one with evil and the male one with wisdom, I think there's a lot we gotta undo there in our society. <laughs> so I just wanted to break that out because when I first learned this, it like blew my mind and yeah, there's so many books I've written down I wanna read all about like specifically the witch trials in Europe and America and how it was like this huge female genocide and just trying to like hold down strong independent women. <laughs> So, yeah. So I'm excited. The book the book I got is, I forgot what it's called, but it's basically about like releasing your inner witch. And I think it goes into a lot of the pop culture kind of witch references and kind of undoing the damage that that's done. Mm. And it's interesting as well, because I noticed in the witchcraft shop, there was a lot of Celtic symbology and mm. what were they like mood stones and jewelry. And that's like my ancestry on my mum's side going into Scotland, the McGregor clan, which I think originally came from Ireland. So there's like the whole Celtic ancestry for me, which would have all been into paganism and witchcraft, which would have been all about connecting with the planet, the earth, mm -hmm. using herbs and plants and making post yeah. potions and spells and- Studying the planets and- Yeah. And I, more so than ever, am really excited about learning about herbalism and like making little potions. And I'd love to have a room in Costa Rica where I'm like drying different things. And like if our kids get hurt, I want to be able to like make them something because literally like the earth has given us plants to heal us. And so many of us don't know the use of them. And um, there's so many, especially once you can like learn about or even talk to indigenous peoples from the area that you live in. Thankfully, there's this one incredible man who has been visiting Alegria and has been teaching some of the residents about um, how to use like local plants to heal. So I can't wait This is in to Costa Rica for those yeah. that haven't been following our, <laughs> our life. Yeah, I'll definitely share more about that whole journey when when I really start like diving deep into it. But I just wanted to talk about this now because we obviously talked about witchcraft and stuff earlier. And um, I think this is a really important thing that people should just be more aware of. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. And I think the new forest in general is very steeped in kind of, kind of the history of witchcraft and it's quite a significant place. And actually, unfortunately, the week after we leave, which is next week, well, we're leaving today. <laughs> Next week, yeah. they have a fairy festival mm -hmm. happening. So we're missing it. <laughs> which we're missing, but yeah. we're so into all of that magical kind of yeah. fantasy stuff and it would have been super cool to check out. And we were saying like, when we have kids, we want to make little fairy houses and kind of- Well, I can tell you right now, I 100% believe in fairies because I have no evidence that fairies are real, but I also have no evidence that they're not real. So I choose to believe that they're real. And that's what faith in all things is. So um, especially when we were sitting by the creek and just watching the dragonflies fly around, I was like, I think those are fairies. So anyway, I'm very excited to have kids and to like let more of that kind of fantasy open-mindedness yeah. out. I think it's all about stoking the imagination and yeah. I don't think it's harmful to really feel- To lean into magic. Yeah, lean into it for sure. There's so much magic, even like the freaking sunset, the reflection of the moon on the water, like all of this is magic. And I think it's easy to walk past it and mm. ignore it. You know, we could be inside watching TV right now, but we're trying to soak it in and like really appreciate the magic of the planet, so. Yeah. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> we, we're gonna just enjoy the last moments of this beautiful evening mm -hmm. and then we are heading on to our next destination we're heading mm -hmm. to the whoa should we even say maybe you should tune into the next video <laughs> to see where yeah. we're heading next 
on our but road trip. It's the place that I've been very, very excited to go. I've been saving like Instagram posts and stuff from this place for years, so I'm very excited. I hope that we find some magical things to show you. Definitely there'll be more magic on this whole road trip, but in the next place for sure. And keep the suggestions rolling in. We yes. have been reading all the comments from the last couple of videos mm -hmm. on where we should go and places we should visit, so please comment below. Mm -hmm. And if you're not subscribed already, we've got an epic month of so many amazing destinations across the UK that we're going to be sharing with you and having adventures. So mm -hmm. please follow along and we'll catch you next week. I hope that you go find the magic wherever you are today. And we love you. See you next time. Bye. Bye.